Hello world, Liu here. And if you have been working with Python for a while, you have probably seen this if name equals to main statement floating around. So today, I'll explain to you how this works and why we need this sometimes. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm a software engineer from Singapore and I make tutorials and practice questions relating to Python and programming. Now back to the video. So currently, I'm in a.py. And so I'm going to do this first, print underscore underscore name and underscore underscore. So here, let's run a.py. And here we are going to have underscore underscore mean and underscore underscore. So next, let's put this in a function. So define hello a. Hello from a and name is going to be this name. And here, if I call hello a, I'm going to get hello from a and name is going to be main. So next, I'm going to create b.py and I'm going to copy and paste this. So let's change this to hello b and this is going to be hello b. So once again, if I run b.py, I'm going to get the same thing. Hello from b and name is going to be main. So here, let's put this side by side. So let's remove this from a and I'm going to do this from b import hello b and here I'm going to type hello b and I'm going to call it. So watch what happens. So if I run this, I'm going to run a.py and I'm going to get hello from b, name is b and hello from b, name is b. So let's comment this out and we'll get only one of that. So here, notice that name is no longer mean. However, if I call hello a, and let's run this again, name will be main. So what's going on here, you might ask. So here, if we run a.py directly, like this, the name for a.py is going to be main. However, if we choose to import a function from elsewhere, let's say b, the name is not going to be main. Instead, it's going to be whatever the file name of the Python script is. So here, let's create one more. So c.py, and I'm going to add this here. So hello c, hello from c. So similarly, from c import hello c, and I'm going to call hello c. So let's run this once again. And here we have it. Hello from a, name is main. Hello from b, name is going to be b. And hello from c and name is going to be C. So here, once again, name is equals to B and name is equals to C because we have imported these functions from another Python file. And this is not the file that we run directly. So here, we just ran a.py directly. So only A will be main. So next, I'm going to print some stuff in B. So print, ha ha ha. And so if I run A again, I'm going to get ha ha ha, Hello from A, hello from B, and then hello from C. So here, notice that whatever I put here in B is also printed when I run a.py. So sometimes we might not actually want to run this. So in this case, I'm going to write if name is equals to min. So here, this will run only if we run b.py directly. So once again, let's run a.py and we enter and here we have it. We have the normal stuff that we get from here. However, notice that our ha 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 did not print. And because of this if name is equal to main thing, whatever is inside here will only run if we run b.py directly. So here, let's run b.py directly and here we are going to get ha ha ha. Similarly, I'm going to print testing123 for c. And once again, if I run A, I'm going to get testing123. And this is because I did not put this in a if name is equal to main statement. So if I do not want this to run accidentally, I can simply put it in a if name is equal to main statement. So once again, this line will only run if we run c.py directly. So once again, if I rerun a.py, I'm only going to get these three lines, which are from a.py. And if I run c.py directly, I'm going to get testing123. 
So here, this statement, if name is equals to main, that whatever code you put inside it will only run if you run the file directly. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully this was clear and easy to understand. See you in the next one.